Hello, you multi, multi dextrin miserable misnomers. Yeah, I had to, I had to practice that malt mention a few times before I said it. Malt mates. So now I've got that out of the way. Let's give the malt mention credit to Scotty Blog. Because Scotty Blogs provided the mention introducing Ralphie Review 995 Extras. And I want to introduce you to something you may not be aware of or you may not have heard of it before. But this is something I'm having a bit of a conversation at the moment with my Patreon subscribers on my Ralphie channel where I provide extra content and go a little bit more deep dive. And I've mentioned in commentary to them that there are various things around the corner that are affecting alcoholic beverages and that we tend to assume because we're in the middle of it and because we enjoy a good alcoholic beverage and we're there we're here for the quality not the quantity but we also acknowledge there's many people around us in society they can't handle their alcohol they go crazy on it they become irresponsible on it they get value violent on it they get abusive on it and this is a regular feature up and down the cities and towns of many countries around the world, but certainly in Britain, which has a notorious reputation of aggressive drunkenness. And that's a fact of it. This is an established empirical fact. And the idea is that, well, education is the key to success. And actually, education has got a lot to do with it as does accountability. In other words, when people are being drunk and abusive, they should be arrested and they should spend the night in jail. And then they should be fined when they're sober. Make sure they're sober first and then fine them a few hundred pounds. Then they'll think again. But it's more complex than that, you see, because the law is changing. Law and order is the old concept of it. That is changing because society is changing. And one of these changes is that people look for opportunities and find opportunities with innovations. And one of the information, innovations that I've mentioned has been Synthahol. Now, Synthahol first appeared in an early episode of Star Trek, and it was basically synthesized alcohol so that people could drink it on a starship and get a buzz but then not get pished and start getting aggressive and violent and start using laser weapons and phaser guns and all the rest of it these things matter in a starship particularly when you're intergalactic and you're getting chased by the Klingons so um, Syntha Hall is an idea that started as a science fiction concept but in fact it's now become real and there's a company called GABA Labs and they are now developing chemists are developing synthetic alcohol substitute and by the way there's already a market for it because I don't know where you are but where I am non-alcoholic cocktails are a thing. People are going into bars now and saying, I want a al non-alcoholic gin and tonic. And they're getting it. They want an alcoholic, a non-alcoholic red wine, white wine, even a non-alcoholic champagne. And they're getting it. A non-alcoholic spirit? Yeah. Sip Smith. It's a good, uh, good example. Uh, there is a number of non-alcoholic herbaceous quote-unquote spirits which have no alcohol in them and they're selling for pretty hefty prices a bottle the last time i clocked it was 22 pounds a bottle now bear in mind there's no duty in taxation if there's no alcohol in the product there's only value-added tax in the uk so inevitably Absolutely. You have got distilleries around the world, whether they be making bourbon, rum, scotch whiskey, Irish whiskey, rye, cognac, armagnac, whatever. Now, I suspect the last people to take up in Synthahol will be the French because they value alcohol, right, properly. 
it's part of the culture but elsewhere you can see that alcohol makers are saying I tell you what if we could have a low alcohol spirit which is half alcohol half synthahol we could sell it as a spirit and pay a lot less duty and taxes you see decisions are driven by the money it's all about the money you got to understand the money and I know I'm being a little bit kind of facetious here and comedic but seriously the more you understand how money works the more you see how innovations actually happen the drinks industry is worth multi billions a year globally many multi billions in fact I would say trillions but hey what do I know um, when you actually really add it all up and not just the alcohol but the tourism the visits the the peripheral spending around alcohol it, it, it all it really is hugely valuable and if you can as a, a distiller produce an alternative product which still carries your signature your branding your flavor right and you can sell it a little bit cheaper but not a lot cheaper and it's got no alcohol in it or it's reduced alcohol I, I'm telling you right now this is a Ralphie prediction from the Bothy this is going to happen this is a thing this is going to happen we're already seeing the signs of change in the Japan in Japan the Japanese government have had to have a campaign to encourage young people under the age of 25 to actually consume alcohol and globally there's a young middle class generation who are now so used to the consumption of cocaine that they're finding the alcohols getting in the way of the cocaine you've also got a generation who do not want to be seen in public consuming alcohol because they can't trust their own controls and if anything negative appears in social media in any context that shows that they might be drunk this could impact their career promotion credit scoring health availability this is just how things are changing it's how things are and alcohol producers the ones that stick purely to alcohol in the future will find their base of customers slowly eroding and steadily dissipating as the distillers who have adapted, embraced and diversified into combining alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages hold their ground and in fact grow their business. It may seem strange to us at the moment but what I find is an online reviewer, I get this enormous overview, a global overview of what's happening. I see the way the winds of change move. And although it's not a thing for the next couple of years, it will be a thing in the future. And it's called Synthahol. It started in, on, on, in Star Trek, but it will be coming. It will be landing at some point in a bar near you. You'll see the non-alcoholic beverages, then you'll find the synthahol variants, the naturally derived, allegedly, perhaps, and also synth synth pharmaceutically derived alcohol alternatives where you consume it, you feel good, you get a bit of a dizzy, but see when you're ready to sober up. Unlike alcohol, you don't have to wait. You just take the tablet. Five minutes later, you're sober. And this matters to people. Really, really interesting times we live in. I thought that I'd share that with you. It's been a big discussion with my Patreon supporters on my that little channel, the subscription channel. Um, and I've been adding to that uh, because sometimes people say, hang about, that can't be real. But I'm telling you, Mott Mates, St. Hall is real. I'll put a link down below in the description box to the site which is developing GABA which is the Synthahol brand 
I'm Ralphie. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I tell you what, we'll see you soon, you wonderful people.